Today, we're taking a look at the future of electric skateboards. What's up guys, welcome back to another electric skateboard video. Today we are talking about direct drives, um, but before we talk about how awesome direct drives are, let's start from the beginning and where electric skateboards originated from. Electric skateboards started out with belt driven systems, so that means a motor, a motor mount, pulleys, belts, a whole bunch of different moving parts to turn energy into forward motion so you don't have to push your board. Um, from there though, the DIY electric skateboard community and the electric skateboard community in general really adopted hub motors, which are much more cost effective. The motor is inside the wheels, so there's a lot less moving parts, and uh, people really like them because of how easy they are to install on boards and how quiet they are. Hub motors are really cool, but there is one big downside. One downside to hub motors is the motor size. Because the motor has to fit within the wheel, it has to fit within the wheel's dimension. So that means the motor cannot be that big. It couldn't be obviously larger than the wheel itself. So it really limits the size of the motor that's able to be put into hub motors. And that means you know a smaller motor is smaller power output, less acceleration, less torque, less hill climbing ability. So it limits performance a lot. Now it is really easy to install and it is pretty cheap but the performance just isn't quite there. Another reason why hub motors aren't as cool as they could be is because of wheel choice. A lot of riders, like myself, really have their favorite wheels. Everybody's got kind of their set of wheels that they go to. I really love orangutan wheels. Um, I like to put them on things, but with hub motors, you can't do that. Because of the, the motor and the wheel are kind of one, there is no wheel selection. Like, I guess you could technically replace the front two wheels, but what's the point if you're only replacing two out of the four wheels? And another thing about the we the back wheels with the motors is they don't really feel like wheels. They're really hard, they're dense. Really, they're a piece of metal with a thin layer of polyurethane around them. And they don't feel right. You know, you'll know what I mean if you've, if you've felt the difference between a regular set of longboard wheels and then hub motors. They're just hard, the ride isn't as smooth, all that kind of stuff. So wheel choice is definitely a huge issue with hub motors. That's what you get with belt driven systems. You get to pick any kind of wheel you want because you're just using a pulley. So hub motors have their awesome things, but their drawbacks, same thing with belt motors, you know, loose parts, all kinds of different moving parts. It's just kind of a pain to get belt motors to work sometimes. I totally get that, but there is something that kind of takes the best of both worlds and combines it and that is direct drives. So with direct drives, you do get the benefit of hub motors and belt driven motors. For instance, the motor is shifted down the hanger a bit so you have room to add on your own wheels. You get to pick any wheel you want, um, which is to me one of the best selling points. And then secondly, the motor is not inside the wheel anymore. So it, again, it's shifted down the hanger so the motors can be larger. They're not limited to the size of the wheel. They get to be longer and a little bit beefier. So you get that torque and acceleration that you expect out of a belt driven system. Being able to choose your own wheels and riding on legitimate wheels is actually a huge deal. Just by changing your wheels from maybe an 85 millimeter wheel to maybe a 120 millimeter diameter wheel, you're changing your top speed dramatically. And that's something really awesome that you're able to customize your top speed, customize your torque and acceleration just by changing the wheels out. With hub motors, you're just kind of stuck with what you have. Now, hub motors are a really good value, but there are a lot of limitations like we discussed. Another benefit of direct drives is that the motor isn't in the wheel, so there's not a layer of rubber surrounding it, so the heat is able to escape the motor much easier, keeping the motors cooler for longer. But you can't deny that hub motor's installation process is really nice. You literally just attach the trucks to the bottom of your deck and you're ready to roll. Um, direct drives, Pretty much the same thing, except you just have to add the wheels that you want. Uh, you pretty much just add your wheels on, make sure the, the spokes line up with the wheel adapters that's included, and attach the end nuts to the end of the axles and you're ready to go. Pretty much the exact same thing, just adding wheels. So I will gladly take the extra step in installation for that choice in wheels. So the installation process is really easy. There's no mounts, no pulleys, no belts, none of that. Really easy, just like hub motors. Um, but there is a couple different things about the direct drives that you do have to keep in mind. Uh, the direct drives do come with MR30 connectors, which you most likely will not have on your ESC. Um, we went ahead and made adapters so everybody can use the uh, direct drives with regular vests, regular ESCs, and just converted those down to uh, four millimeter uh, bullet connectors. That way, you know, they are more universal with every setup. So these will work with pretty much every ESC. So one of my all time favorite features of the direct drives is just how quiet they really are. Like, listen to this. And every single sound that you just heard was the wheels. There's like literally no motor sound. Very, very minimal, really nice, and it's even quieter when there's actual weight on the board. 
And then you can't forget about the top speed. With the right wheels on these things, you can easily hit 30 plus miles per hour. One thing I definitely don't want to overlook are the trucks. The trucks are double kingpin trucks, so you have a lot of turning radius, um, as well as or a lot of stability. So it's kind of both. Like you get a lot of nice, uh, good edges for carving and everything, but you do feel really stable when you're going high speed. So it feels really good. So that's about all I have for you guys today. Just a quick overview on the new direct drives. Uh, if you guys have any other questions though, drop them in the comment section below. We're very active down there. Follow us on Instagram. We're always there to talk about anything you guys want to talk about, help with uh, builds, questions, anything like that. Follow us on Instagram, send us a DM. We're here to help. Um, subscribe to our YouTube channel. We have all kinds of different electric skateboard tutorials coming out soon. Um, if, you have, if you guys want to see more about the direct drives, we'd love to make more videos, feature them in a couple builds, stuff like that. So definitely stick around for that. And if you learned anything at all today, consider looking at our store. We have all kinds of different electric skateboard parts. We have a whole kit builder to help you build your own kit. It really helps us keep these videos coming. Um, we'd really appreciate if you just check out our store. Um, and just makes all these videos possible. Thank you guys again for watching. Again, hit that subscribe button and we will see you guys in the next one.